What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Locked In with Trey. And today, I got something special for you guys. We are going to look at my new 2019 Can Am Riker. It's sitting over there looking pretty. Oh my goodness, look at it. But, anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you need to know about this bad boy right here is that it is all fully automatic, man. You don't have to worry about any gears switching. It's ran by a CVT transmission, so you just get on it and go. This mug is insane fun, man. If y'all don't have one of these by now, you need to get one. I'm here to tell you to get one, man. This thing, look at it. And of course, you know your boy had to put some upgrades on it. The upgrades I got on it right now is this lock right here. I had to install this lock. It didn't come with it. I guess the ones that they make in America don't come with the lock, so... You have to put that on there. I got this from slingmods.com, so you can go get that. I also added this right here, this passenger seat. It didn't come with it. I got the 900 basic model. I didn't get the Riker Rally Edition, but the Riker Rally Edition comes with the passenger seat. It comes with higher suspension and all of that stuff like that. The good stuff, bells and whistles. But the 900 is no punk. It comes with the sport mode package so pretty much everything that the rocker rally has except for the higher suspension and the passenger seat other than that is basically the rocker rally oh and the wheels the rocker rally has thicker wheels and you can go off-road with it a little bit but this one you can take it a little bit off-road but i wouldn't recommend doing anything crazy it's not a four-wheeler it's most definitely for the street the other modifications I've done to this bike so far is the matte black right here. Mine came with the gloss black, kind of like the bars, kind of like this right here. It looked like that, but I put, you know, I had to go all the way matte black. You know, I like the Batmobile look. It looked pretty cold, man. Look at that. That's sweet. I don't know if I'm going to uh, add any more colors. Oh, how could I forget? I also put the white walls on there. This did not come with the bike at all. I got this from slingmods.com. Go get you some white walls or any color to match your bike. They got it. I think they got just about any color. I know they got the basic colors like white, black, red, yellow, and stuff like that. Maybe green. They got all those colors. So go get you some. You know, be riding in fashion. But I love the black with the white walls, man. That's dope. I'm also maybe thinking about putting some white accents on here. I'm not 100% sure yet, but for the most part, this thing is cold, man. Comment down below and let me know how you like this bike, man. This is dope. This is too dope. But let me show you guys how I started up. So, it's kind of weird, but when I first got this bike, I didn't know exactly how it was going to be to start it up. And once they showed me, it was pretty simple. Okay, this bike is operated by one brake. It operates all three wheels. And basically how you start it is you put your foot on the brake, right? And you click this on, hit the button, pull it forward, the throttle. Make sure you pull it forward and then press the start again. Now, I made that a little bit more complicated than it really is. It's kind of muscle memory by now for me, but yeah, man, this thing is dope. Now, I know a lot of y'all are wondering what's the price on one of these things. They range from anywhere from 8400 to like 12000 8400 will get you the 600cc base model, and I think it gets up to about 95 miles per hour on the road. Um, this 900 it gets a little bit over 100 you know what i mean maybe anywhere from 105 to 110 depending on how long you hold it up but i'm telling you this thing is fast from zero to 100 it's power it's pulling you. so if you're wondering if you can get a ticket on the interstate the answer is yes you can if you go over the speed limit anywhere you're gonna get a ticket and this thing will get you that anywhere it don't matter if you're on the interstate or the back road you know what i mean so be careful on this thing when you're driving it but hey they've tested it it won't flip on you or do any of that you know what i mean it's it's 
on the ground. It ain't going nowhere. That's not going anywhere. As long as you holding on to it, you can drift. You can do almost anything. You could be going 100 and hit a curve. I don't recommend it, but if you do, just hold on to it and it'll drift around. It might do a 360 and burn out on you. So you got to be careful on these things. It's a motorcycle. It's not a toy. It's a toy to me because I know what I'm doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, it is not a toy. You want to make sure you get your license and go through the proper precautions to drive one of these things. It's like a glorified four-wheeler. And I think that's just about it when it comes to this Riker, man. I mean, it has the gas compartment right here. You put your gas in there. That's pretty cool. You don't got to worry about anything spilling. And it has an adjustable handlebar. You know, you can slide it back and forth. I'm not going to do mine because I like the where I like where it's at. So, we're going to keep that right there. Uh, it has a glove box. You know, put all your stuff in there. And this thing comes with over, I think it's like 70,000 or 75,000 different accessories, including the color changes and all that stuff you can do to it. Um, this is where all the battery, the horn, uh, the oil stuff, and you know, the air in tank right here. Hey, it's cool. The, uh, the foot pegs right here, you can adjust these, just lift them up. I don't want to do it right now. All right, I'll do it to get it. Just lift it up and slide it back and forth like that, simple. And once you get it to where you want to be, just slip it down. It's simple, man. This is an easy ride, really. Um, let me see. It has a reverse on this side, which is the left side is the reverse. The brake is on the right side. Uh, you just click it back like that. Y'all see that? I'm gonna just click it back like that. And now you're in reverse, ready to go. Um, as long as you have the brake up, it's not gonna go anywhere. It'll beep on you try if you're trying to go and let you know, hey, take me out of the brake, bro. But, yeah, for the most part, this is it right here. My Batmobile. I might upgrade when the turbo come out. The turbo come out, I might take it and upgrade it, man. I don't know yet. I don't know if my wife gonna let me, but I might sneak it. She ain't been on this bike. She don't ride bikes. She don't like bikes like that. But I'm gonna try to get her on this and even try to drive it because if she like this, maybe I can get what I really want. Stay tuned for that. We're gonna see. And oh yeah, I almost forgot guys, dreadlock update. I just twisted my hair in my last video and I told y'all I was gonna let y'all know how it turned out after I took my clamps out. And hey, look at these boys right here. Look at them. You know, they ready. They ready. <laughs> they fire, they fire, can't lie. Can't lie, they fire. Red man, red man, yeah, that's me. Can't lie to you. Bye. <laughs> yeah, man, but comment down below. Let me know what you think about the locks and how far they've come. All crochet, you know what I mean? Can't lie. These is kept up by the crochet hook. And they lasting. They lasting. I can't complain about it. I can't complain about it. Let me know what you think about my locks down in the comments, man. If they fire or they a lie. You know what I mean? I don't think ain't nobody lying. Ain't nobody lying. Ain't nobody lying. You see it. You see it, wop, bop, bop, you see it. I'm thinking about doing a braid style next, maybe, maybe braid them all up since they, you know, kind of uniform. I like it because it's the Islander look. It's not really super uniform, but it's uniformed enough. Just, you know, enough to give you that Islander look. I love that, I love it. Who knows, maybe one day I might even get that Riker right there, the same color as my locks, you know what I mean? That way I'll be red up here and red when I'm riding, you feel me? But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the Riker review, man. That thing is off the chain. That's the 900 CC, and like I said, you could get the 600, starts out at $8,400, and goes up to about 12. But for this bike, man, that's cheap. That is cheap, man. And I'm not trying to say that that ain't a lot of money or nothing like that, but for a bike, for transportation, that's cheap, man. So. 
go on and get you one. And hey, you never know. Maybe one day we can go riding and tear up the roads. You know what I mean? Let's do that. But anyway, guys, that is it for the video. I hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And come on and join me over here at Locked In with Trey. Like I said, I'm going to be bringing more and more content for you guys. Not just locks, but day in the life riding with me doing all that stuff but you already know what it is it's your boy trey smith bringing you love peace and prosperity forevermore throughout your life don't you forget it and i'll see you guys on the next video all right peace